what's going on everybody Quaku here back with another video today i have for you a new app review for an app called clipboard canvas clipboard canvas is by this here the developer developer d2 dino uh, you can get on the microsoft store it's gotten pretty good reviews but it's only three reviews so let's try to make that more reviews um, from this video hopefully just push out as much uh, feedback to this person as possible uh, clipboard canvas basically what it is is in a nutshell is a clipboard replacement tool uh, for clipboard it kind of enhances clipboard a little bit there are some annoyances in clipboard if you haven't tried it already um, being that when you copy something and it shows up in your action center over here when it pops out if you don't act on it long enough or you actually hit swipe away from it sometimes hitting windows key v to open up your clipboard it would go away um after a while but in clipboard canvas it stays so that's in a nutshell clipboard canvas so now let's jump into it uh and i do want to say it is free on the microsoft store to use and download clipboard canvas forever so that's pretty nice and clipboard canvas again this is the main screen of clipboard canvas and i gotta say compared to the windows key v clipboard which is like yes a lot smaller um i like clipboard canvas more it just it looks pretty decently good i don't mind my clipboard taking up a lot of space this however might be a little issue this kind of the scaling when you shrink it so low um because it doesn't have that switch to one clip canvas which i'll explain about in just a second but going full screen in clipboard canvas this is the essentially what you get from it it's a clipboard so if i hit my print screen button and i want to copy this text right here you'll see that it pops up here in my snipping tool but if i hit x here you can hit windows key v it'll pop up here and then whatever you paste it in it'll then remove it so then in clipboard canvas it says press Control v to paste in content so i'll hit Control v and then this content can now be manipulated and moved around it cannot be edited it can't be anything special with that but essentially what it does is as you see right here it gives it a file name it automatically saves the file which is something we've wanted for a while um, and then you can also just right click and hit open containing folder and it will jump directly to the containing folder of this, which is in your local drive, unfortunately. So that is like where things save in clipboard canvas. Now let's look at the layout of clipboard canvas and see if it's um, how, how usable it is. So for starters, we have the main screen, which is the canvas. Essentially, uh, you can move anything, any clipboard elements anywhere, including text. You got your paste from clipboard. So if I hit paste from clipboard, it'll continue uh, populating every, you know, the most recent pasting thing from clipboard. You can open uh, infinite canvas folder, which is that folder uh, right there that I opened up. And again, it is a local state folder. It is basically your C drive. Um, and then you got these right here, which then you can actually choose uh, different canvases. So let's say you want a canvas for um, these images. You can have this. This is what I was testing with initially. Um, and then you can switch it to another canvas uh, just to have separate images. So you can kind of organize your images. Now, my question is, can you can you move your images between canvases? It doesn't look like you can, but you can control V and paste that recent image into it or just hit paste from clipboard into whatever canvas you want. You have two choices of canvases. When you click on this, it says infinite canvas. And then you also have uh, what they call a local canvas or just one canvas. So you can see they have switched to one canvas right here. So I'll switch to one canvas. It says you're in one canvas mode. Um, I'm not 100% sure what that means just yet. I think it just means that um, you just have everything pasted on this page, but I'll be sure to reach out to the developer to find out what one canvas and what uh, what infinite canvas means. I'm not sure the difference. They don't really have that kind of description there. But overall, if I go back home, you can see the total collections of what I have, my timeline for today. Of all the things that I've saved today, I can add a new collection uh, and then I can name the folder of that collection. So let's say I want to put that collection in my video folder. Um, and I want to name it, uh, and I want to make a new folder, and I want to name it just new folder, and then hit select folder. So then it makes a new canvas called select folder, which then I can edit the name and call it uh, images, right? And then I'll have that. And then if I hit uh, open collection container or collection uh, folder, you can see that that video folder now was renamed automatically to images, which is pretty nice. And therefore, when I click into it and I hit control V, uh, you'll get some new things in when I actually have things to paste in. So let's see 
if I can get anything in here. There we go. So let's see if anything actually populated in this open infinite canvas folder. Nothing there, but see videos that that folder right there was automatically populated because this is the current collection is the images. So the in in a nutshell, the confusing thing that I probably just said was you can kind of pick where the directory is for your clipboard items um, by going back to the home screen, picking a collection. The default collection is obviously going to be in my C drive. And if I right click it, you can change different icons and different things, pick custom icons and stuff. Uh, if I right click that area and I want to, or if I want to go and create a new collection to change where it's located, I can hit add a collection. And then I can pick wherever it is on my PC that I want this collection to be. I can pick a folder. I can pick whatever it is. I can pick this Adobe folder if I wanted to. And then from there, that collection will be titled that folder. So if it's new folder, it'll be called new folder. And of course, if you change the name of that collection in the app itself, it will change the name of the folder. And then every image inside that folder will already be there ready to go. See, it says here, uh, this one here is in images. This one here is in default collection, default collection. And now what you might be wondering is how do I interact with these elements? Um, so what you can do is you can simply just right click them uh, when you go into it. So open the canvas right click them and you can hit copy file and then from there you can do whatever you want with them um, you can even just right click and you can hit open file and then it'll open up in images you can do your tweaking and everything in photos or whatever you use whatever is your default and it's the same thing as clipboard of course all those items did not appear here in this normal clipboard for windows they only appeared here in clipboard canvas so and essentially i like how the application is a little confusing in order to figure out where your things are saved at, but I like how I can just right click and pick, go to open containing folder to know that all of my stuff will always be there no matter what. That also applies to text. So if I say I want to open up, um, let's say I want to open up Edge and I want to just find some text on Edge. Let's say I want to see, uh, can I let's let's click on this one and then highlight Mother Nature really outdid herself, right? If I right click this and then if I highlight this, copy it and I go to clipboard canvas and I hit paste, you see Mother Nature really outdid herself right there. It becomes a text file. So if I hit open containing folder, you can see that it is in fact a text file. So if I double click it, it will open up in notepad for me. And just like that, you got it right there. So it's it's pretty nice. In my opinion, it's pretty good. Um, like I said, the only thing that's probably a little annoying is that if it's not open and I want something, let's say a screenshot. So let me take a screenshot and just highlight something. A snipping tool shows up. It won't automatically, I don't believe it'll automatically go into clipboard canvas. Let's try uh, clipboard canvas. I don't believe it automatically shows up in clipboard canvas at all. No, it does not. You actually have to manually open up the application, copy it and paste it in, or you can just paste from clipboard and it'll bring the most recent thing that was in your clipboard, which is this image. So you do have to open up the application and paste things into it. Um, but it's nice that like, say I'm doing snap, I'm snapping, or let's say I want to use this edge panels, these panels here. And let's say I want to just like go through and just create some some project work and I want to highlight this here and I just want to paste it in and just have a collection of all the different things that I want for a project I'm working on. I can just highlight, copy in it, copy it, in, copy it, it, and then I can just then just put them all together. I can just paste them whenever I want to my affinity photo, my Photoshop, Illustrator, whatever I use. I can just paste it in all at once instead of having to do it one by one worrying about them disappearing after a while. So that in a nutshell is clipboard canvas. I really like this application. Ironically, um, it looks very clean. It it's just works really well. Um, let's go into the settings real quick. It says use clipboard canvas as default show confirmation when deleting items, permanently delete items as default. Um, I'm not sure what that means even, uh, show timeline widget on homepage. I like that. And then pasting open new canvas on paste. I wouldn't recommend that. I would just leave it as, uh, the current canvas. So you don't have like a billion canvases. If you copy and paste things a lot and then use markdown format instead of text. So it just changes the format. Um, but I would just keep it as text because that's a general format that everything works. They do have the about page about clipboard canvas it's got everything there the star on github the introduction screen which it does in fact have 
it does show you everything that you need to know about Clipboard Canvas here. So you can go through preview collections, one canvas. In fact, there it is. Quickly paste and interact your content in one canvas. One canvas gives you a fully sized interactive preview of various files. That's pretty nice. Uh, and then you got infinite canvas viewer files on a limit free. Uh, infinite canvas is your desktop to sticky keyboard allows you to or a sticky board allows you to manage your work in a flexible fashion drag around pasted files so that's the difference in fact right there between one canvas and clipboard canvas one canvas pastes it big um, you whatever you highlight big in the clipboard uh, whereas infinite canvas shows you multiple so there you go I was wrong about that I'm so sorry in fact now that we are there let's try it out so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna just copy my desktop here, just go all out, copy my desktop, and then I'm gonna paste it into one canvas, go full screen, and there you go. So that that is exactly uh, what the person said, and it is correct, and it works really well. I can still right click and do the same things. I can still open containing folder and everything, so I like that, and I noticed that it doesn't create a subfolder for it. It just puts it in its own side thing if it's, in the, uh, if it's on one canvas. So there you go. That's about it uh, for clipboard canvas. I like it for all I think it might replace my clipboard usage because I've had some gripes with the Windows 11 one and Windows 10 one. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Again, this application is free on the Microsoft Store. There's only about three ratings on it. So please do, if you see bugs, if you see anything, just give the person some telemetry, give some person some feedback, the developer, uh, so we can improve it, make it look better, make it work better if there's anything bad about it. So far, so good. Good start. My name is Kwaku. I'll catch you guys in the next one.